Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a puzzle piece tree canvas. So let's start, as always, with a look at the supplies being provided. Um, so in our envelopes this month, we have our four or five pieces. Um, so a small paintbrush for just the uh, watercolor, which there's a watercolor card um, with a toffee and a burnt umber to make our um, the trunk of our tree. And then for the leaves of our tree and the top of our tree, you've got a small Eileen's Tacky Glue and a snack bag full of uh, some puzzle pieces. So this is a great project. If you've got those puzzles that uh, you can't take to a yard sale, it's missing pieces, um, maybe it was one that your family loved and you made a lot, um, you can give it a second life using this with those leftover pieces since maybe you're missing a piece or two. Um, so you have a couple of options for how you start this particular project. You will need, in addition to the supplies being provided, a little bit of water for your watercolors and uh, probably some paper towels so that you can um, dry your paintbrush or clean your paintbrush in between colors. Um, so you can go ahead and start with the canopy of your tree, gluing on some puzzle pieces and giving them some time to lay down. Um, or you could start with your paint and give yourself your trunk and build your tree from there. I'm gonna do a little bit of a um, combination of both. Uh, so I've got my glue. These glues you will need to uh, cut off the top um, or if you don't have access to scissors, you can twist off the lid and maybe with a um, craft stick or toothpick or the end of your paintbrush, you can use that to help get some of these um, the glue laid down and your puzzle pieces glued on. So for this very first step, I really am just going to take and put a bead of glue around on the top of my five by seven little canvas. And I am going to take some of my little puzzle pieces. And so this puzzle we actually did purchase specifically for this um, program. Uh, it is not an image of any nature. It is just a blend of colors. So really it was something I wanted so that we had like kind of that differentiation, just a lot going on with what we put down. So you should have a range of the colors uh, and you can start just kind of building and because this canvas is so small, I'm really going to build almost to the top and a little beyond so that uh, I've really got that almost 3D look to this particular project. I'm not too worried. I really don't want the pieces to kind of stick together as if they were like stuck in a puzzle. Um, so I'm just pulling things that are able to lay right next to each other, but not really be kind of in as if it were a puzzle piece. Let's see. Mm. No, let's get that one. Actually, I want to come down this way a little bit more. So a little bit of glue there, a little bit of When I have glue that comes out around, I'm not too concerned about that because I've definitely, the glue will, beyond drying clear, it will also do another layer. So I've still got puzzle pieces left. I've just laid down a few. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the trunk of my tree. And I'm gonna work light to dark. So I'm gonna get some of my toffee paint and just give myself the outline I want of my tree. Let's give us a, a branch here and towards these. 
if you've got one of the wider brushes or um, several brushes, you might decide that you really want this particular piece of the project would go a little faster if you were um, using, especially if you were going to paint in the inside of your, your tree trunk. So I'm going to give up here a branch. Come in here and in here with the branch on the other side of my trunk. If I had some green left over um, of paints from other projects, I might give some grass towards the bottom of this one. So just filling in some of these areas. These top pieces where I'm kind of adding branches. They may be covered later, and I'm not really concerned about that because um, they may be able to have, like, you'll have a little hint of the color, and it will um, pop out, and it'll just really add to that look of it being a 3D tree. All right, so we've got our toffee tree trunk laid down here. Come down to the bottom. Paint our water just plug that color I want to have another branch coming off here you will also be able to come back definitely come back to your painting as you get um, the puzzle piece glued on and, and mar really marry those two pieces so I'm gonna grab a little bit of this burn umber and I'm gonna start giving my tree um, darker hues here along the edges, shape out that trunk of my tree, this corner to here, same on the other side, I'm going to go to my water. Really just bringing that tree trunk out. I'm going to come back over this first one because as it's dried, it's gotten a little lighter. Give us some bark look. And this I love because I can really just kind of let the paintbrush pull down my tree. Maybe I actually want to give a knot on my tree here. Maybe something lives in this tree. A little owl family or some squirrels or something like that so again I can come back so I'm gonna set aside my paintbrush for now mm, I just decided I didn't want to do that because the idea struck me to give some more little bits and hints of that brown of the branches up into where I'm gonna start gluing again so, Clean my brush, set that aside, back to my glue. And let's give another layer to these um, leaves on the top. So I can, if I want to be a little bit more, and for this layer I sort of do, a little bit more specific, I'm going to take my glue straight to my puzzle piece. So then I can come in here and go over top. And really just find that spot I want to lay these down because I do want there to be less of the white through there if I was seeing more through uh, the leaves of the tree as it were I would probably have started and painted a um, like a blue sky back there so that as you saw through the leaves you would see that kind of blue sky reflected in the background. Something like that would be totally doable with a project like this. But for our purposes in this one today, we are just going with the canvas background itself, so that white of the canvas. And I'm just putting a small bead of glue onto the back of these pieces. Nothing super heavy. You will definitely have leftover glue from this one. There we go. 
I'm not being too specific with the colors as I place them, really just kind of getting that flow. Um, so up to you, you can really set out your pieces from the get-go, figure out what colors you want to be kind of around what. Also, as it's just glued down, I do have um, the ability to do some movement with the pieces. I don't want a straight on the edge. So then we get a hint of that yellow underneath and then to that. I feel like I need something up there. A little bit of blue behind. What kind of colors do I have left? All right. And then for this one, I think I'm gonna go kind of the corner so I bridge out. And then I really see, so I've got the blue I put on top, that little bit of green underneath and then the orange underneath as well. And then here is that place where I can see the um, almost the tree branch through the tree. You know, so I do want to come down here with one for there, and maybe I've got a a leaf that has fallen. So I'm just gonna put one little puzzle piece down there. This, I don't mind the straight edge being at the top. And I think one more right here. We'll go green. Let's go purple. And so you really get that 3D look by layering your puzzle pieces over each other. Kind of working them in. I'm going to go one additional layer with these last three pieces. Up there, here, oh. again, you're going to have some movement right off the bat. Don't be concerned about that. Um, you are going to want to get this set somewhere, um, and now we're going to give it time to dry. So um, the glue really needs a good at least four or five hours before you really should move it. Um, if you can leave it for a whole day before you start setting it up somewhere, your pieces. I'm just giving a little bit of push down to make sure I've got some good connection. My one little piece there. And I can again come back with my paint if I want to give some more of a look to this tree and get in there and blend those colors. Maybe I want a darker tree trunk. Those are all of the really fun decisions that you get to make with your particular project as you make this puzzle piece tree. Um, we hope you enjoyed this Canvas Projects video and this project. As always, we look forward to seeing uh, what you create and to seeing you again next time. Thanks for watching.